Let us never tolerate outrageous conspiracy theories. Our best hope for answers may come from above. Orbiting over our heads are 120 satellites keeping watch from space. Malicious lies that attempt to shift the blame away from the terrorists themselves, away from the guilty. The satellites are absolutely amazing because not only can we see the visible things from space, but also not only can we see the visible things from space. Not only can we see the visible things from space. Not only can we see the visible things from space, we can see things that aren't visible to the human eye. So satellites are enabling us to turn what are invisible processes into visible things we can see and then understand, then understand. To see how our world works, in this program we have taken information provided by satellites, combined it with computer models, and rendered the results in these scientifically accurate graphics. With the invisible now revealed, we can see Earth as an endlessly changing system. Um, what happens next? Well, at the moment, I'm really uh, just readapting to being back in Earth's gravity, which only takes a couple of days before you actually feel, feel good. But it'll actually take me about six months, maybe a year, to fully readjust in terms of bone density. So there's loads of science going on. Um, I've had muscle biopsies, MRI scans, ultrasounds, uh, plenty of blood taken, and really trying to investigate how the body has changed with six months living in microgravity so that we can understand it and, and move forward to lunar exploration to those Mars missions uh, and understand how the human body is going to be able to cope with those. So that's what I'm really working on at the moment. But you feel okay? Was it strange to be back? No, I feel absolutely great. Um, and it's, it's amazing how quickly you get used to just being back on Earth. Look, I just thought... You thought? You thought? How's that working out for you? Not very well. Not very well.
The coming months would see much of his time spent on scientific experiments in disciplines such as fluid physics, human physiology, and material science. The ISS provides unique conditions that can't be replicated on Earth. Working in the shadow of the Earth to avoid dangerous sparks, they replaced a failed power regulator and installed new cabling. So once the gyroscope is spinning, you can just see... Throughout the Principia mission, Peak has been keen to share his experience with the next generation of scientists and astronauts. He even managed to take part in the London Marathon, using a treadmill and a special harness in the Tranquility Node. He finished the 42-kilometer race in just over three and a half hours, during which time the ISS traveled almost 100,000 kilometers. And as part of preparations for future missions to the moon and beyond, on April the 29th, he attempted to remotely steer a robot called Bridget across a simulated Mars landscape in Stevenage, England. He attempted to remotely steer a robot called Bridget across a simulated Mars landscape in Stevenage, England, bringing an end to ESA's eighth long-duration stay on board the ISS. So there'll be a whole mixture, cycling, uh, running, swimming, just to get myself um, fully back to adapted to Earth's gravity. And thank you very much, these I love it. Welcome home, Tim. How was it, mate? I mean, that's, that's brilliant. It was great. <laughs>